Hey, welcome back to our kitchen. What are we doing today? Well, this is Easter dinner, though you'll probably see it later on. We'll try to get it out as soon as we can, but yeah. You won't be seeing this on Easter. But this was our Easter dinner. So we're doing a boneless spiral cut, brown sugar double glaze. It's weird because it came with this in it. I thought I was already going to have the brown sugar on it, but apparently there's a glaze that you had the last half hour. I'm not going to be cooking this in the oven, though. You know how we cook around here. We're going to be doing another one of those crock pot creations. Now, I tried to get myself some dull pineapple, but I ended up with this. That's okay. Sometimes that's how it works in Wally World. They give you something at Walmart that's a substitution if they don't have what you order. Which is better than nothing, right? All right, I'm rambling. Let's get going on this. We're going to be cooking this on low for about eight hours in the crock pot. So let's see how we do it. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention... We're probably going to be doing this for our sides. I'm for sure doing agarotin, and I think we'll be doing some asparagus with it. If we don't do canned asparagus, we also have a frozen one, but I don't know. We get more out of the cans. We can always double up. So yeah, these are going to be the sides, but those will be for later. Let's get back to it. It did come with directions. Well, we won't be following these directions, but here it is. Hopefully without too much glare. Sorry about that. Hit pause if you want to read it. But there you go. It was behind the label. Ah, tricky. Tricky, tricky. And here I thought that was going to leave me hanging. Okay. So when you open this up, it had the label stuck to that there. And then got our bag here. It does say to remove all packaging. So let's see. Ooh, can you guys see in there? I can kind of see in there. Let me get a better look in there. Man, Sam's Club don't mess around. They got this pretty purple foil packaging for the Easter ham. And then they got even more packaging. No wonder they said remove it all. Let's get this bag off of it. Okay. Honestly, this says fully cooked on the package, man. Mm -hmm, it looks so good. It's probably going to fall apart. It's already sliced. Ay, let's get some juice in there. Now, some people say to go with a cup, but... Man, we don't measure around here. Splash! Watch out, you're in the splash zone, guys. Let's get that all around. Oh, yeah. Alright. Let's save some pineapple for later. I don't know about you, but I love a good pineapple juice. Yum. There we go. Put it a little over halfway up my crock pot there, and we're just going to let that cook all day. Check back with you a little bit later. Thanks for watching this. All right, I guess that's the glaze. Yeah, we just made our brown sugar glaze. I don't know how, I've never done this before, so I don't know if I should just dump it all over. Yeah, I think that's where. I get some down inside the, the crevices. Oh, yeah. Oh, yum, yum, yum. I think it already came out with some glaze, plus we cooked it in the juice all day. That's supposed to make it nice and sweet right there. Mm, mm, mm. Now, we ended up getting scared, and we turned ours down to warm about three hours after we started cooking it. Yeah, because we did have a year, uh, not too many years ago, that we uh, actually burned the heck out of a, a ham. It was one Christmas, I feel like, we, we did it. We cooked it on high forever. Yeah. <laughs> Never again. Never. So this should be good, because like I said, it's already been pre-cooked. We just had to warm it up. Yep, yep. We warmed it up all day, out of warm. Yep. And then uh, we also have our... Our cheesy potatoes over here. Ooh, ooh. And we're going to make asparagus to go with it. So we'll show that to you here in a minute. Here is our yummy Easter dinner. We got ourselves some ham, cheesy potatoes, and some asparagus. Thanks so very much for watching this. Happy Easter. See y'all next time.